Grado Lagoon is the smaller sibling of the Venetian Lagoon and lies a few miles to the east. This area was hit by the same devastating event. The original canals, empty into the sea, but many waterways have collapsed into lagoons. Other canals are hidden under the surface on land. A sharp line of regular rounded shapes stretches along the bottom of the bay near the shore. It appears to be the shores of an opposing landmass that has collapsed away. Now let's take a look at the strange objects that are scattered at the bottom of the bay. Some are distinct, others are under sediments. Others are sticking out of calcareous islands, as we shall see later. There are hundreds of sinkholes inside the lagoon and along the coast. These are probably collapsed limestone sediments, maybe slabs. The only thing left are solid stone grids. Looking at muddy areas where there used to be land and also deformed waterways. The geometry of these areas is amazing. The canal, which is the essence of the river on land, continues to break up and disappear. At its end we can see only fragments in the shape of stone, anchors.
its canals and connections to other canals are still visible. The current ports make use of these collapsed areas and the stone bulkheads are maintained as breakwaters. Again we see the interconnection of the canals at the bottom of the lagoon and their mouths to the current sea. Stone anchors can be found all along the coast. This one still holds in a solid island. Geometry of part of the lost landmass. The preserved partitions are not complete. They originally connected the islands. More accurately, these grates supported the slabs above. The geometry of the canals, grates and plates is characterized by rounded circular shapes. However, this geometry is often hidden under other angular geometric fields. In some places, they are just being uncovered.
is an example of a hidden canal. You won't recognize anything on land. But at the bottom, we can see its ruins. and also the shadows of the great. In some places there are circles, which surely also hide something. Very interesting island. There are still stone anchors sticking out of its perimeter. Let's look at the details. With a little imagination, it's as if there were once petrified buildings here. The following area is also very damaged. However, we can easily visualize the geometry of the grids. This slab has been cleared of vegetation. Note its shape. You'll find the same in Venice. As you can see, the vegetation itself reveals geometric shapes. Its roots grasp the solid soil.
the banks show geometric regularity. This is probably due to the faulting along the stronger partitions. It may be the bank of a waterways. For example, the shape of this river. There are many geometric fields around it. Once again we encounter a field of broken partitions. Some are still part of the mainland. The original waterway is still evident. Here the canal winding around the coast crosses the main canal. This main canal joined by others flows into the sea. can see the breakwaters at the mouth. But they're just remnants of the huge partitions. Another geometrical island. Some parts of the shore really resemble a star. All these islands were shores of canals. We see the geometry here too.
damaged part of the mainland with remnants of stone partitions. The confluence of several waterways is still visible. Many of these islands resemble the architecture of castle gardens and parks and are connected by watercourses. Other areas of the mainland coast are gradually sinking and a whole different world emerges. This old world seems to have been covered by blocks of limestone. In other areas it appears as if someone has poured liquid limestone on the ground. Mythical giants? The old world must have been amazing. It was certainly colorful, too. What happened? A biblical flood? Does this event correspond with the sinking of Atlantis?
Traces of broken stone partitions can be found all over the planet. Some is breakwaters in harbors and on beaches and others hidden in deserts. Most are encased in limestone sediment. Along many coastlines we find traces of landslides. and also sinkholes full of water, geometric objects, signs, petroglyphs and last but not least the areas where no one is allowed. All this can be found in the mountains, in the deserts and on the shores. The recessed grid extends far inland far below the surface. Here we see the partitions protruding from the land. Here they have a practical use as breakwaters. Another damaged area. We can see the main grating and the broken partitions perpendicular to it. Very likely this was the bank of the main canal. Further inside the lagoon, note the collapsed island plates. They are covered with limestone clusters, but some remnants of the original grids are clearly visible.
maybe this is what the Garden of Eden looked like. Waterways intersect, diverge and meet again. This geometry also appears on land. Maybe people discovered it a long time ago and started to maintain it. but someone still knows about them. The geometry of the canals, some of which are still obscured by vegetation. However, as you can see, work is already beginning. Let's take a closer look at another geometric field.
the vegetation that has taken root on these ruins reveals their geometry. Star River has a fitting name. Let's highlight its flow. The green line is another possible tributary. Here is a very interesting sinkhole. We saw the same geometry in the last video, Mount San Michel, Normandy. Another probable star fragment. It's amazing that the building here follows the star shape. and another possible star fragment. A few miles to the north, almost at the foot of the Alps, we find a complete star, Parmanova. Was it part of a huge complex that reached out to the sea? Finally, let's take a look at the mining in these sites over the years. Year 2006. 
2015. 2017. The miners seem to follow this geometry exactly. Other place with circles on the left side. Year 2006. 2012. Twenty seventeen.